We live today in the times that Spengler predicted. A time where money and hyper-finance rule. Where technics is driving our everyday lives. Where culture has largely disappeared and been replaced by mass entertainment and outright degeneracy. But for Spengler, this can at the same time harbor a new dawn. We will discuss these issues at our Spengler course this fall. Spengler's view of history rejects Eurocentrism and linear progression as well. In fact, there is to his mind no overall tellers or historical goal. There cannot be an end of history. Unlike for Hegel, where absolute spirit comes to know itself absolutely as human freedom is further and further actualized. This brings with it an end of history in a double sense of a literal coming to an end and a blossoming up in an end state, but also an end in the sense of telos. For Spengler, all cultures, however, follow a similar trajectory as do biological organisms. They rise to greatness if they can, but inevitably at one point they must enter the civilization phase whereby a culture's once unique and great impulses lose their vital force. Civilization is the name that Spengler gives to the ossification and petrification of a high culture. In such a moment of the rule of money and of the press, the time is ripe for a new Caesar to emerge. Caesar rises to power by the will of the people precisely because he promises to end the rule of money. Napoleon does not count as a new Caesar, since with him the civilization phase in fact sets in, according to Spengler. Spengler foresees the final battle between democracy and Caesarism, to quote him, between the leading forces of a dictatorial money economy and the purely political will to order of the Caesars. So we hope to see you at our Spengler course, where we will discuss these matters in more detail. Thank you very much indeed.